everyone, how are you? So today I want to talk about cleansing and purification. This is a very, very important thing about any sex ritual. So remember that I had my video uh, speaking about um, cleansing of past lovers. So just the way we clean our vessel, preparing for the sexual ritual, um, we have to clean our altar and our home. Anyone who does any basic magic, very basic magic, real magic, knows that your home has to always be clean. I'm going to go over this today because this is a very important subject that many people don't really pay attention to. Um, and there's a few very crucial things that I think if you do them right, it would already help you tremendously in life generally, but also with your energies um, in your life and your sex and everything that you do. So uh, remember that before we have sex, before a ritual, before a unification of feminine and masculine, um, I told you, we spoke about cleansing of past lovers, that the man has to clean his heart and his ego before he comes to his woman, that the woman has to clean her ego and her womb very much before she, she allows the man to enter her room. She wants the womb to be pure for this man that she chose to be with. Um, so just the way we clean our bodies, we really need to start cleaning our home. Now, I also, I also had a video about the altar how to make an altar. Please make sure your altar is always clean. There's no clutter. There's no crap on it. Always clean the dust out of it. Um, if there is it's all the windows in the house, make sure the windows always are always clean. Windows are symbolic for um, window of opportunity. Remember that saying? So, and also for, for our vision, for the view of life that we have. Always keep, keep your windows clear. Um, and um, let go of items that don't serve you. Let go of any items that you can that doesn't make you feel joy, doesn't make you feel love, doesn't make you feel creation. If it doesn't make you feel happy, let it go. No clutter. Um, let's see. Uh, so, because your home and your surroundings, basically, uh, remember everything around, around you is you. So it reflects and it symbolizes your inner world and your inner state of mind. So your energy is basically, you, you look at your home around you and you see your own energy. So that's a big thing to notice. Just look around you right now. How, how do you live your life in terms of your home? Um, clutter represents also sub, the, the, to the subconscious mind, it represents obstacle, confusion, just too much of everything, you know, like just let it go and clear your house. Um, and again, everyone who does magic, real magic, knows that good spirits, light spirits are not going to enter a place full of clutter and dirt. They're just not going to go there. Um, and bad spirit, you know, I don't like to use good or bad, obviously, because there is no good or bad, but low vibrational spirits and entities love clutter. They just love mess and, and dirt and everything. So if you want to invite low vibrational spirits into your house, be my guest, keep it dirty. But if you don't, make sure it's clean and clear of clutter, especially the floor. Low vibrational beings like to be stuck to the floor. Um, and that's something that I'm going to be talking a lot about this video because uh, it also has to do with cleaning your feet a lot. Um, so, okay. If we cleanse ourselves before any sexual ritual, our subconscious mind sees that as its own ritual, a cleansing ritual, and it makes the sex act a lot more pure, a lot more wonderful. Like when you go into a temple, you know, men, before you enter your woman, take a shower. Honestly, like your woman is the greatest temple that you will ever walk through. Take a shower. Clean yourself, not just energetically, but physically as well. Um, that also cleanses us um, energetically. Because any shower, by the way, any shower or bath, any anytime we go, we, we wash our bodies with water, that is a magic ritual. It's, it, it's also a very basic thing to know about magic, that when you take a shower, and we actually do a basic cleansing ritual every day when we take a shower. So just do it with more intention, and there you have it. 
Um, so the, the sex act is going to be a lot more powerful if you do that. If you do it with that intention, it's going to be a lot more enjoyable. It's going to be a lot more powerful. Your intentions to the orgasm, if you, if you want to manifest things, it will work a lot better. Trust me. Um, and plus the orgasms could be a lot more better if you come with that intention to that act. Um, so, I mean, I know that when I am, when I uh, even masturbate and I, sh and I do my own cleansing ritual before that, my own orgasms just skyrocket. <laughs> um, so try it. Um, so, okay. It also, you know how if we have sex really fast, we can hardly feel anything. I'm talking to, I'm talking about us ladies, learn from this guys. Um, so, you know, the shower and the rituals before that, they, they, it's like, it's like a spiritual, uh, foreplay, you know, it kind of like prolongs the, the enjoyment of, of the whole act that we're doing. So yeah, I love that. So, okay. In sex, we use our two vessels of light, man and woman, woman and doesn't matter, two people, uh, to create life, to create a third entity. So it is vital to cleanse both of your body before you enter the sexual magic. Um, of course, you can, you know, you can fuck all night and be dirty and have fun, and that's great. And we should do it more with people we love with the right intentions. But if we really want to do sex magic and we really want to dig in deep there, haha, then cleansing ourselves does the trick. Um, we also have a lot more respect for our own bodies and the body of our of our uh, partner. So I, I just see it. I, I see cleansing yourself so good on so many levels um, and it works again it works more in the subconscious mind tells it it tells it how important this thing that you're doing right now is how important this person is right now that i'm cleansing myself for you you know like if i if i if i love this man so much i'm going to cleanse myself completely for him because he's going to enter my womb he's going to enter the entire world and i'm actually the one in control here, if you want to say energetically, because think about it, that the, the masculine enters the feminine, he enters the unknown, he enters the, a black hole, you know, like the universe. So he is actually the one who has to surrender and, and let go of his fear. Um, and that's why we have a dark masculine world today, because men are so scared of women that they suppressed us this all this time because they're so scared of this, of this, ma like mag, this, I can't even, I can't even find the word. <laughs> so when I clean myself and prepare myself for this man, he feels safe to enter me. He knows that when he enters me, maybe, maybe not consciously, but subconsciously, he will know that, and he will feel if he's connected to his heart, that he's safe and that he's entering a universe where he can grow and expand and be loved and held. Um, so what else did I want to talk about? Um, all right. The way we can clean ourselves. Start with water, like we talked about. Um, whether you have sex alone or with a partner, um, if you want to do sex magic, manifest. When you shower before that, adding the right words and spell. Remember, any word is a spell. I hope you guys got that in my last videos. So be careful with the words you speak. Um, so you add the right words and the spells. You elevate your sexual ritual to a really high, high place. Um, you see and you treat your body in your lover's body as a temple. Um, when a man showers before he enters me, I know that he cares. I know that he respects me. I know that I'm safe with him, that my womb, my sacred space is safe with him. Um, and he's not gonna put any crap in, inside my womb because I, keep, I do so much work in keeping my womb powerful and clear, then I, I'm just not gonna let a man come and shit all over it. Sounds really bad, but yeah. Um, so we all want to be pure from, from any energy we have before we come into this, into this ritual. 
where again we create life doesn't necessarily mean a baby we're cr but anytime you have sex with someone you're creating a third energy you're literally creating an entire universe so please remember that every time you have sex you're creating an energy what you think about what you feel in the ritual in the sex matters you have no clue how much it matters what you're doing while you're having sex um so let me see also it helps us to admire each other's bodies you know like we admire each other we love each other more it's it's the simple thing of cleansing yourself it can change so much if you do it with the right intention um now the other uh another another amazing way that we can clean clean our partner is oil anointment uh so even in relig in religion um you anoint someone to mark them as holy i did that with one of my exes and it was really amazing and we did it kind of subconsciously but i felt it it was the energy was insane for me i don't know if you felt it but i definitely did so there's many ways to create a ritual this is one of them i'm giving you a few ideas so you can kind of start getting the hang of it so men anoint your woman with oil before you enter her you know after you both took a shower just rub oil all over her with love and with care with every to every part of her body go through every part of her body worship it admire it love it prepare it you know and it's again it's 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 foreplay for most women giving a massage with oils it could be better than 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 the sex itself so if you want to be a good lover trust me you want to try this trick um annoy her with oil and again do it with your heart open your heart this is also and the time that you're that you're anointing her with oil gives you the time to open your heart and just feel her feel her deeply feel yourself deeply what do you want to get out of this sec out of this sex tonight just feel more it gives you all the time um and it will give her a lot more pleasure i promise you and it will give you a lot more pleasure as well because men are givers you know a divine a man who's in his divinity wants to give so also doing that is 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 fulfilling your one of your needs as a man to give to your woman just there's so much to talk about every little thing i'm just giving you some stuff to think about um it's a, definitely a lot more rousing uh for the sex um yeah all right circle a circle is a very basic thing in magic any time you do any magic spell a good witch or wizard knows that you create a circle around you you could do it with your finger with your wand however you want it draw it on the floor um a circle basically represents to the subconscious mind a safe place and almost like um uh like you are god you know like you are in your own universe and um so it's it's a basic magic symbol that creates protection so you also want to do a pr protection before any spell and especially before sex magic so if you're on your bed you know draw a circle around your bed like a perfect circle somehow you can even keep it there you can just draw with a somehow keep it there all the time if you want to or around your house um and you should really be doing any magic spell with a circle trust me do it all the time with a circle now fire um so lighting a candle obviously um uh, burning the burning the pest lover which will with fire remember that was really really powerful so we want to use fire for that i you look look at my other video for that if you want to know how to do that a white candle is always good to have in your home any day never mind if you if you you know just anyone have a white candle in your home it's for protection it's for it's for cleansing no matter if you're doing spells or not have a white candle in your home um so yeah and especially when you're doing sex let's say you want to manifest uh more money during the sex that's your intention put the put the white candle by your bed and put the green kettle candle next to it cuz green is for money and financial abundance and so on so and if you want to manifest more love put a pink candle with your white candle got it sweet if you want to manifest 
more protection, put a black candle with the white candle, but the white candle is always good to have there. Um, water, we've already talked about, bathing alone or together, uh, talks about, talked about water enough. So air, you can use incense, sage, um, open a window and let everything out when you're cleansing your house. And remember, just another thing to remember, uh, when you're doing a cleansing and you want to let go of energy, do it in the waning moon. And if you want to invite things in your life, you do it in the waxing moon. So if you want to do a really big cleanse to your house, uh, sweep up the floor, clean the windows, sage everywhere, open everything, let everything out, do it in, in a waning moon time. Sweet. Earth. So we talked about water, fire, um, uh, and air, and now we're going to do earth. Um, having sex directly on the ground. Ha ha. Um, so when, I'm just going to give you something to consider. Um, try it with your partner one time. Having sex directly on the ground, naked, on, on even a wet ground is better. Um, when your partner pins you to the floor, I know it's a little, I'm going a little crazy here, but here it is. Um, it connects you, I'm talking to us women, connects us more to earth, to the mother, and it makes our orgasms and our manifestation and our sex magic so much more powerful. Um, so the men helps you basically by pinning you to the floor, to the ground, to connect more with the ground. And by that, he's also getting all the energy because remember, he's, you're kind of helping each other. It's a, it's a, it's a give and take situation here. So sex on the earth in the rain is amazing because you have, you have the earth and the water and it just, it cleanses you as you're doing the sexual ritual. Fucking powerful. Um, so make sure if you do that, have the purest of intentions. Prepare yourself before you do that because you are connected to the earth. You're, you know, you're, it's very intense energy. Um, thank the earth and connect with it before you do it or while you're doing it. Thank the mother, connect with her. This is a great opportunity, especially when a man is inside of you and you're connected to the ground. Awesome. Sound. Use bells, chimes, and even vocal toning. I use a lot of vocal toning to clean my house, to clean my body. Um, I like to use bells. Um, the higher the tone of the bell, the better, because it's more, it's more pure, it's more childlike, and low vibrational spirits do not like bells. So clean your house with some good sound, really works. Um, now I'm gonna talk about the bed space, not the house, we're gonna, we're gonna focus on the bed. Um, when you go to bed, it's not only the place that you have sex, it's the place where you dream, where you go into other dimensions in your mind, you heal your subconscious mind, you rejuvenate your body. It's a very, very, very sacred space. I'm going to repeat, very sacred space. So I am a Nazi when it comes to keeping my bed clean. Everyone who knows me knows that. I don't even sit on my bed if I don't, if I didn't wash myself, if I'm with dirty clothes, no way. I always go to my bed naked, clean after I washed myself and no one else is allowed to go into my bed or sit on it if they haven't washed themselves. I know it's a little crazy. You don't have to be crazy like me, but I'm just trying to, to give you, a, make a point here. So I do a lot of work in my dreams and in my sex life. So I want that space to be the most pure space I can have it. Even when I travel, um, no matter where I go, that space is always clean. Um, so yeah, remember low entities always cling to dirt and you do not want them in your sleep. You want your dreams and your subconscious mind work to be as pure and as fun as possible. Um, you want to be very connected to your dreams. Dream work is so important. And I'll do another video on that. I know I always promise it. It will happen one day. Um, so washing your feet, especially. Remember when I spoke before about the low entities that are stuck to the floor. If you don't have a time to, for a shower before bed, at least wash your feet. Because they're going to get stuck to your feet. All the dirt, all the low vibration. So make sure your feet are really, really, really uh, well washed before you go into your bed, at least. And before you have sex please wash your feet. 
Um, so, yeah, dream time is just as important as, as, as sex for me, personally. Um, I do most of my work in dream time, and uh, we will discuss that later, like I said. Um, don't let people that are dirty, that wore their clothes all day, ran, ran in the mud, sit on your bed and just lay there, you know, especially, I know, I don't know how people like, just put their shoes on the bed, it's just beyond me. Um, <laughs> so I told you I'm crazy about that. Um, so yeah, I hope this helps. This is a long video, but I know this, this is important information. Um, I love you guys and please feel free to ask me any questions. You can go to my Facebook page, um, write me any question, uh, any comment. Um, uh, you can also comment here, but I, I see it more on my Facebook page. Um, you can go on my website um, and uh, download my, my ebook for free, completely free. Um, I'm a servant of the mother and I pray for the awakening of men, women and children on planet Earth. Thank you.